Hey guys, Media Bible, it's Chris Tomer here with this afternoon mountain weather update. I'll look at some of the new numbers and uh, some of the trends, and we'll go to the bullet points first, and I really didn't change anything here from yesterday. It still holds true. Northwest flow develops around 219, and that's what sets up some pretty deep bullseyes on um, the initial stages uh, for some heavy snow. Two lows then will ride the coattails of that, and on a very powerful northern jet branch, and the southern branch will also play a contributing role. So I'll show you all that coming up. Um, but that's going to spread totals from California all the way to Colorado and everything in between. All right, let me show you what it looks like right now. This is visible satellite. So the key features, look at this low over Hawaii. Another low somewhere right in here and another big low behind us. So those, this guy and this guy will be the key players for the west down the road. And we've got a powerful northern branch and southern branch all in on the action. So what will happen is after about two or three dry days, um, this pattern will start to bend a northwest flow with a powerful northern branch into the uh, Idaho, Montana, Wyoming, northern Utah, Colorado, central and northern mountains of Colorado zone. And that will really be the introduction for all of this. All right, let me uh, show you. I actually wrote about it this morning on my blog, chrystomer.com. Snow and pattern through the end of February. I actually looked into March 1st as well and talked about a, a few deep bullseyes. So take a look at that. Uh, Purgatory looks, looked awesome this morning after 37 inches in three days. It's over 10 inches a, um, a day uh, for three days. All right, current setup. And the jet stream, 220, that's the setup for 220, so it really hasn't changed much. Power from northwest flow, cold air, a low entrenched, and a second low behind it. Um, so here's the other one. This is 225, and I actually did an update on 225 with new data this afternoon. Here's what it looks like for 225. Still seeing a big low, a little further west over California. The bottom line is uh, the pattern's going to remain active into late February and early March. And let me show you what I'm, I'm seeing for early March. So back here on my blog, March 1st, pressure pattern anomalies. Um, lower pressures indicator or anomalies indicated for much of the west. Um, if this plays out, you can kind of see the dominant flow pattern. This would indicate um, a colder, snowier pattern for the west into March 1st. Maybe even beyond this, but into March 1st. So that's what I'm seeing. Um, I also looked at timing. Let me take this full. I'll scrub this. I don't think I put any pauses. So let me scrub this. Here's Friday morning, waiting. It's dry. Here is Saturday morning at 6. Still dry over most of the west. You can start to see, though, the northwest, northwest flow taking shape. And then here is Sunday morning, well into the northwest flow, hitting the Tetons. Montana, Idaho, and the, and the Wasatch, and then eventually the central and northern mountains of Colorado. So there's a Monday morning early, still seeing that northwest flow, and then you can see it during the day. There's Tuesday morning, it's all in place, starting to see the next storm system, the first of the two come down, and then it drags everything to the south. Drops the boom, brings the whole thing to the south there. 220, 221, 222, 223 would be the key time frame for those two low pressures. So we're talking good cold air, northwest flow, good ratios, good jet support. I like what I'm seeing down the road. And I'll just play this continuously so you can kind of see this. Again, without pause points. See how everything moves in time, the general pattern. All right, back to the blog. Um, I did some very specific forecasting here for Alta, Crested Butte, and Jackson Hole. Snow in time, key snow time frame. Um, so take a look at that. My forecast totals from this morning. I've got updates on all of these. One thing I wanted to point out on my map from this morning, I had big totals over the Wasatch of 50 inches. Not sure of that this afternoon. Um, I lowered those numbers. Um, still looking at significant snow. But we may see things oscillate. Um, over the next couple of three days as far as grand totals. Um, I still have big numbers for the Tetons um, and elsewhere. I'll show you those numbers right here. Okay, so this is period one. So this is the, the remainder of today through the 18th. All the snow is light, all to Montana, Wyoming, and the northern tier of states, Banff, BC, Pacific Northwest. Here's the key time frame. So this is 219 through 225. 
Still some big numbers, not as big, but still looking at probably two to three feet through the Tetons and also the Wasatch, two or three feet for parts of uh, Tahoe down to Mammoth, could even see more than that. Quite a bit of snow through uh, the Pacific Northwest, Washington and Oregon states there and into northern uh, Idaho, Montana looks good. Colorado, the numbers, I dropped them down just a little bit, but still looking at 8 to 16 over the central and northern zones with a little bit more to the south. I think what ultimately this is really going to come down to, again, we're going to see the oscillation with these numbers, is the final storm track. Timing out those two storms, how much of a northwest flow, how pronounced is it. Um, so, you know, the range right now is very big, obviously. 30 to 50 inches for the, for the Wasatch, and I'll nail that down over the next few days, but 30 to 50, obviously, when you take my numbers from this morning and look at what I've got here. I'll show you the specialty maps. Um, so here is uh, here's the Wasatch, and this is a grand total map of about 30 to 36 inches, somewhere in there. Again, we're going to see oscillation. Here's Colorado, the central and northern mountains. Um, about a foot, maybe more, um, between the entire period. So. Um, we'll watch as those numbers kind of move around a little bit. Here's the uh, the northeast. Now these numbers are staying pretty strong. I've got quite a bit here. Um, a couple of feet possible. There's a stronger storm system potentially 22, 23 that may come through and that's where a lot of the snow may come from. Um, so definitely keep an eye on these numbers but they have stayed rather um, high over the last few updates so there's probably something there. Alright guys, thanks for tuning in here. Always appreciate it. Um, and have a great day and enjoy what looks to be an active pattern later this month.